In this video, I'm going to be showing you the fourth component to any effective offense in Madden 21 from the gun bunch, and that is the ability to be able to run the ball to the right side of the formation, the middle of the formation, and of course, the left side of the formation. We're going to be sharing with you the best way to run the ball at a gun bunch for success, how you can use the run in certain situations to make your offense better, and a little bit more than that as well. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody, and I want to thank you for watching this video. This channel is devoted to helping you become the best Madden player that you can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now, again, if you have not subscribed yet, we have post videos every single day on YouTube that can help you become a better player. And so this is just one little way that, again, that you can just kind of keep growing as a Madden player. So uh, a couple things we're going to talk about in this video. We're going to talk about the running game. We're also going to talk about what you can do from a motion perspective um, to prevent your opponent from shooting the run in the backfield and things like that. Now, this is an excerpt from my uh, New York Jets gun bunch offensive guide. And so if you have not got the offensive guide yet, it will be linked in the description. You can get the entire offensive guide for just $15. Um, literally breaks down everything that you could possibly want to know about the gun bunch offense and how to use it to um, its most effective ability. So that's linked in the description. But what we're going to talk about today is the halfback base as our primary running play. We've been in this series where we talk about the five key elements to any offense in Madden 21. Any effective offense, especially the offenses that are the most effective, are going to have these five abilities. They're going to have the ability, um, they're going to have a power play, something that's very difficult to stop, okay? They're going to have a counter play, something that looks exactly the same as the power play, but requires a completely different style of defense to be able to stop it. And then they're going to have constraint theory plays these are plays that are going to take advantage of when their opponents are over adjusting certain adjustments that are popular this is going to take advantage of that the fourth element and that's what we're talking about in today's video is they can run the ball at any point to the middle to the left to the, to the right and then the fifth element and that's what we're going to talk about tomorrow um, is the ability to be able to score inside the 10 yard line just basically having short yardage plays or red zone plays that can really really be effective for them and so today we're talking about the halfback base now this is one of the most underrated runs in the entire community in my opinion and the reason why it's so underrated is because people don't realize that this is actually a really really good run against a lot of against 335 wide so um 335 wide is the most popular defense of the game it's the best defense of the game but as you can see right here halfback base kind of beats it uh in a lot of different ways there are certain styles of defenses that are going to be more effective than others but one of the biggest things that this can do for you is if they're if they are spreading their defensive line and they're kind of leaving themselves vulnerable to this you you can literally pop it for five to ten yards in fact i believe that wesley in the madden bowl ran this run to perfection against the dime 146 this run is super super good now there's a couple of other things that i want to hit on that you can do with this the first one is you can obviously uh run it right at the middle just like that right there that's probably the number one way to run this run is to run it right up the middle. There are certain times though at which you're going to do different things. So for example, if they do an adjustment maybe like this right here, now you see that the strong side of the running formation is either to the middle, um, and you could do this little stop and go right in the backfield right there to get a couple extra yards. But another thing that you can do with this run is very similar to what a lot of people like to do out of the um, out of the trip side in is you can cut this run back. So if I run this right here, I'm just going to do a little stop in the backfield and I wouldn't able to get out of the backfield right there. But there is a window and it is primarily, this is a little bit of a unique one, but it's primarily if they're dropping their linebackers into coverage, you know, maybe they're doing something like that right there. This is more of where you're going to see this run kind of start to pop. So you come here, you stop, and then you go. And as you can see, there's a lot of real estate to be able to be had right down the middle of the field. Now, the halfback counter run is a run where, you know, if you pop this, it's actually not that hard. Um, it's, it's actually not that bad of a run. And the reason why I wanted to go over these with you today is I just want you to be able to see all of the things that you could do from um, the bunch set. Now, with motions, you can also do some stuff. So this little motion right here is super, super good. Um, most of the time, their user with their the, that blitzing linebacker is going to be their user, and he's just not going to be able to blow this run up. 
Um, it's actually very, very rare. Again, another little motion that you can do that really is very valuable is this one right here, especially if you wanna to try to do a little bit of a cut back, you see we can get maybe to the left side there. Um, now, I wanna talk a little bit about the reverse runs as well. The end around run is actually super, uh, it's actually super good. As you can see right here, this is from the Jets playbook. The end around run can be very, very valuable. And again, you wanna just be able to test things. You know, part of it is we want to be able to test things, test theories. Obviously, the best run and the run that we're going to recommend is the halfback base. But if you take a look at this end around, it's not a, it's not that bad. I mean, you, you get really, really good blocking from it. There's some other things that you can do with your motions to make this run a little bit more effective. So, for example, if I audible over to the end around and I kind of show the play art, you'll see here that if I motion the slot receiver to the left, he's going to basically serve as a nice little block on the safety. And there's nobody over here to get the running back as you can see right there uh, i'm going to be going for six if i break one tackle uh just like i did right there so the end around is a run that is very underrated that not very many people know about that is very very effective and then another run that i want to go over is the fake end around so the fake end around and it's basically a halfback power um, the beauty of this run is he's going to serve as kind of a kick out block the only problem is because you're doing a fake like reverse animation it doesn't always translate very well you see because they can kind of pursue to the ball carrier now what you could also do this is another little option these are these are just things that you kind of pick up on but if you come here and then if you hit that l1 you see that i can pitch it all the way back across and as you can see i can get up field and get some yardage so it's kind of a fun little thing that you can do this is one of those runs that i think is super glitchy like if i come out here like this and i just hit l1 as soon as i get out here you know, I'm not going to break it all the time because they shed and stuff like that. But the majority of the pursuit of the of the computer defense is going to come to me. So if I if I do a good job of hitting that L1 pitch, now you see there if I make a mistake, it could be a fumble. But that is something that you can do. So I just want you to be aware of all the options you have. I want to show you that run against the 335 wide as well. So if I'm in 335 wide, I go to this little fake reverse i'm just hitting l1 and then as you can see right there and again you know you don't want that to happen obviously you don't want the ball to go to the quarterback you want it to go to um you, you want it to go to your your pitch man um you know so that that is kind of what it is but as you can see there's that and then i, I showed you the end around which i think is pretty good um the reverse is where he actually does do the formal pitch so he's going to just kind of pitch it right here and then you're going to go this one is more of like an inside run you're not trying to get outside with this this is more of like an inside run, and this is probably less effective. I mean, it's just less effective. That's just the bottom line. The end around and the halfback base are my two favorite runs out of this, because you see there's no one to block. The, the tight end doesn't come around. The quarterback doesn't really block anybody. And so the pursuit or the contain is able to hold relatively easily here. So as you can see here, I mean, it's, it's really, you know, if that safety's not there, then yeah, maybe. But it takes a lot of stick work to be able to get positive yards out of that. So just be aware of that. And then the counter run. Uh, the counter run is super underrated, I think. It's actually pretty good. It's a really good short yardage run. It is a left side run. But I would just personally focus in. I think the best runs that you can use are the end around right here, as you see. Um, and even I would just use that quick little motion. And you can actually make this look the same both ways. So for example, if I run the end around, I'm gonna motion the slot to the left and I'm just gonna snap the ball like right in here. And you'll see, I mean, I I got a pretty good chance. And, and right there I actually, you know, got blown up, but I do have a decent chance. It's very difficult to shoot this run. And then, um, and then what I would do is say, okay, well that's that run. And then I'm gonna make this run look exactly the same. So I'm gonna go to the base. Here, and then I'm just gonna to try to get some middle yards. I would primarily focus on running the base right down the middle of the field, but those are kind of some really, in my opinion, very, very effective little running plays uh, for you guys. Um, this little fake reverse is kind of a fun play. Um, you know, if they, if they do leave the right side, then you can obviously run on the right side. If they don't leave the right side and, they, and they're able to pursue out there, okay, then we're just going to pitch it back. The only problem is that right there. You don't want that to happen. But anyways, that's the running scheme from the Gun Bunch. I'd start with the base, and then I would also add in that uh, end around. Those are very, very effective. Uh, and if you want to get the entire bunch offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. It literally walks you through uh, step by step through video breakdowns, through written setups and through film study analysis, how to run the entirety of the gun bunch to the best of your ability. Thanks for watching. And if you want to get the ebook, it is down in the description.